the world is going to lie to you for the rest of your natural life. And you have to decide now, are you going to believe the lies of the world? Or are you, or are you going to stay faithful to the word of God? Are you going to believe the word of God? Cause that, those are the two choices. Hey guys, welcome to the show. I just want to remind you that we are with Patreon now. And if you want to subscribe, there's a link below. We really appreciate it. It helps us keep the lights on. Thank you so much to all of you who are patrons. I really appreciate it. We appreciate it. And it's very helpful. But today I want to talk about a phenomenon that's been going on for a while, but it's really kind of ramped up in the last kind of four or five years. And I call it the pornification of American girls. And what I mean by that is, it, well, let's, let's go back to where it started. The kind of the biggest influence of this was Kim Kardashian in 2002. There was a sex tape with her and her boyfriend at the time. I think his name was Ray J. And the tape was released, I believe, in 2007. And Kim Kardashian, before the tape was released, was fairly unknown. She was uh, friends with Paris Hilton. She was actually Paris Hilton's stylist, her like personal wardrobe stylist. And she was relatively unknown. Obviously, she was from a kind of a famous family. Her father was Robert Kardashian, who was OJ's lawyer, OJ Simpson's lawyer. And her mother was married to Bruce Jenner, et cetera, et cetera. So there was, you know, there was, she already had, you know, kind of some uh, notoriety, but when the tape was really, and it's not clear if she planned this kind of leak of the tape or if, if it was totally against her wishes. Um, she, the, the company that released the tape uh, was sued for $5 million by Kim Kardashian and she won, but no one really knows if that was like a setup. Um, but the tape was released in 2007 and she instantly became this wildly famous person uh, for basically for that tape. And Paris Hilton kind of did the same thing. She released, there was a sex tape that was released with her boyfriend, Rick Solomon, uh, in 2003. And I, so I think that Kim Kardashian sort of saw that, <laughs> saw kind of how that tape really made Paris Hilton all the more famous. And so I think she kind of copycatted Paris Hilton and did the same thing. And what that did was bring her so much influence and um she you know she got a reality show with obviously keeping up with the kardashians and her fame and her influence and her money skyrocketed and and this is what i see kind of happening and and kylie jenner is also uh kind of in the same situation she she posts, she's been doing this for, I don't know how long, but she posts these basically triple X rated triple X porn, pornographic photos of herself selfies. And they, she has Kylie Jenner has 282 million followers on Instagram. Kim Kardashian has 264 million followers on Instagram. And Kim Kardashian's net worth is $1.2 billion. So, so young girls, I've noticed this, even, even, you know, older girls, I've noticed this, that they are starting, they, they are, they want to imitate Kim Kardashian because they see, oh, she basically posts these, these very sexual pictures of herself. The, they're they're not even softcore pornography. They're just basic. They're just pornography. Um, she posts these pictures of herself, and she's wildly success, successful. She's you know very famous. She's you know married to Kanye. I don't know how long that's going to last. I, I don't know if that that's ending or not. But young girls see this and they imitate it. 
because they they think, oh, well, Kim Kardashian's doing it and she's so famous and Kylie Jenner is doing it and she's so famous and she has so many followers. And that's the other thing is these these and the social media thing is <laughs> it's, a, it's Satan's masterpiece. It's one of his masterpieces is social media because uh, because girls, you know, American girls and girls all over the world see how influential and how many how many followers people like Kim Kardashian has and Kylie Jenner and Paris Hilton, et cetera. And they're like, I want that. I want those followers. I want tons of followers because I want to have influence. And and girls are starting are starting to find their worth. Obviously, this is not anything new, but they're finding their worth in the amount of followers they have. It's this crazy frenetic phenomenon that is bizarre we live in a very bizarre time and um and you see it you know you see it all over now it's like at the grammys at at all, all kinds of music award shows especially in particular and at the met gala in new york celebrities pop stars actresses wear kind of the most minimal clothing as humanly possible, like J Lo and I, I and I can't think of others, but there's a lot of others who wear as the the most kind of pornographic clothing possible, and and it's having a dramatic effect on young women and young girls, and we see it all around us, and it's it's crazy because even. And it's having this, you know, trickle down effect, obviously, in our culture. And and even some of my nieces who are, you know, come from very conservative families in Texas, and even some of them have fallen into this trap. It's a total trap. And they've fallen into this trap of, of posting selfies that are very provocative. And, you know, and I have friends whose daughters post pictures of themselves in super pr provocative poses that uh, very sexualized poses that, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, it would have been outlawed. <laughs> like it, it's like these, it, these images would have been completely banned and outlawed, but now they're, they're encouraged. It's encouraged in our culture to, to post these things because you know, people know that the more you post this kind of kind of sexual image, the more influence you're going to have. And what I think what young women and young girls don't realize is that these images that they're posting are permanent. They're basically on their permanent record. This these pornographic images, which they probably don't really see as pornographic, but they are they're pornographic images are on their permanent record and they will always be there even if they delete them they will still be there so it's kind of uh it's really just very not only poor judgment to do that to post those kinds of pictures but it's just it's just bad for society in general and just bad period and i think the answer to this is to help your kids, to help kids understand that what is going on, that what they're being influenced by, that that they're they're falling again, they're falling into this trap. They're they're falling for the bait, and they don't even realize it. They think it's like their own decision, and they're doing so, but it's really they're just falling for the bait, and and that the this. You know, it's fuel, basically fueled by Satan. This whole phenomenon is fueled by Satan. And because it's just causing more and more kind of sexual sexualization of the culture. And I think it's important to help to help your kids or kids in general understand that, you know, this is pornography and that it's on your permanent record. It's going to be there for the rest of your life when you try to get it if you be, ever try to get you know some big job at a corporation like these images are going to pop up so i think that's an important thing to understand and also 
if you're a Christian, by the way, I mean, th- it doesn't happen. I don't think guys, I, I don't think guys do this as much. I, in fact, I, I don't even know, know of guys. I don't, I've never seen this happen with guys, the, the, these kind of selfies that are triple X. <laughs> um, I, maybe there are some out there. I don't know. But I, I've seen a, these, these, some of these images and they're just, I dumbfounded. I mean, I'm shocked at how, and also how naive the, the young girls are who post these pictures. It's, it shows such a naivete because they, they don't understand that they're, they're just buying into the culture and that they are basically setting themselves up as porn stars and don't even realize it. So, and also if, if you're a Christian and you're, if you're a young girl or young woman and you're a Christian and you're posting these, these kind of sexual selfies, um, I mean, there's obviously there's a disconnect if you're posting those because you're, you're, again, you're wanting to find your value in the number of followers you have or the number of likes you have rather than finding your identity in Christ, finding your worth is in Christ. If you're a Christian, your worth is in Christ, not in your, the number of followers you have. And if you are a Christian, it's the kind of thing where you just, you need to kind of, in those moments, you need to ask yourself, is this going to glorify God? Or is, am I making this decision in my flesh? Is this my flesh or is this the spirit? Is the spirit leading me to post these pictures or is, you know, so that's the question you have to ask. Also, this is not only affecting young girls, it's, it's affecting older actresses and models. If you, I mean, I've noticed this like Paulina Portskova and other models and other actresses who are in their fifties and sixties are doing the same thing. It's such a crazy thing. And they're doing the same thing. They're posting selfies of super sexual selfies and super sexual selfies say that three times. And, and so it's not just affecting young girls, it's affecting mature women who should know better. But again, they're, they're falling for this trap and doing it because, you know, the culture around them is doing it and they want, and it's actually in a way, it almost revives their career or their fame or their notoriety. So they also do this, which is, is really bizarre. And I'll just, I just want to kind of end on this and, and quote Paul. He says in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, he says, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. So that's really important because I do see Christian girls uh, kind of falling for this as well and posting sexual selfies. And uh, it's very alarming. Every time I see it, I'm like, what? Like, what's happening? Are you... Are you, you know, and again, it goes back to, I I think I said this last week, but it goes back to, are you going to believe the world or believe the word? Are you going to follow the word of God or follow the world, which is ruled by the prince of the power of the air, who is Satan? So that's the choice, the world or the word, because the world is going to, and I say that, you know, I say this, uh, all the, when I speak on on these conferences that I'm doing right now in Minneapolis, I just got back uh, from Minneapolis the other day and, and uh, I'm, I'm speaking in Dallas and in Augusta, Georgia and Philadelphia, but in the coming months. But um, I always say at the end, because during the Q and A, I get asked the question, what is the one thing you would leave with these kids? And and there at, in Minneapolis, there were 3,300 junior high and high school students. And the one thing I, I try to leave with the kids is I'm like, look, the world is going to lie to you for the rest of your natural life. And you have to decide now, are you going to believe the lies of the world? Or are you, or are you going to stay faithful to the word of God? Are you going to believe the word of God? Cause that, those are the two choices. There's no other, there is no other road. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, Jesus said the road is narrow that leads to life. And so 
I just, I wanted to talk about this because it's been on my mind for a long time and um, the pornification of American girls. And it's just a, it's a phenomenon that I hope ends soon and that that young women will will realize that they're they're in a way they're like prostituting themselves to gain notoriety or to gain followers or to gain likes so it's it's a very it's a very self-destructive activity and so i hope that helped and uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next week on the becca cook show mm -hmm.